What's going on people? Today we're gonna go ahead and do some Colosseum and just talk about the new constellation because uh, we haven't done that in a while and also because this is a constellation that helps out Seiya um, and, and it's almost like a perfect one, kind of like a great send-off if you will that is to say if he is going to be gone forever like I think he will be considering it's a limited time event but the requirements this week is a strength hero which basically means most tanks but there are some other strength heroes that will be uh, boosted as well as you can tell Seiya, uh, Grove Guardian and another one of notes is uh, Boommeister um, and the boosts are strength 35% which is huge and max HP plus 30% once again these heroes the strength heroes are some of the tankiest ones so in the Colosseum when you boost their damage and their HP that's like perfect it's perfect so what are the ones that for instance if you're free to play which ones are the ones that you're going to be mainly looking at um the first one i mean of course is rose knight rose knight with some more strength more hp more survivability she's she's almost like a must-have this week like rose knight is almost a must-have in most weeks but this week even more so uh, another good one is death knight death knight as you guys know doesn't have the greatest defenses but he does come back to life, add on to that more HP, which, if you if you really think about it, if you're going to be boosting magic defense or just defense, it's better to have your HP boosted in general, because that helps you with both. That helps you against magic, that helps you against physical, so having a max HP plus 30% actually helps a lot more than whether it's just defense or magic defense etc so these are the two tanks for instance if you're free to play that i would highly highly suggest you use and then the other free to play hero uh, that i would definitely suggest is boommeister some of you might have them purple some of you might have them gold or blue or whatever boommeister with this boost is going to be a force this week um another hero of note uh is seiya because technically, if you don't have a max, that doesn't mean that you can't use him. And funny enough, in my review, my hero review of him, if it's worth getting maxed out, there was a comment that was, uh, this is what I would call an actual, like, comment that I appreciate. It was talking about some of the things that I didn't touch on, but it wasn't, like, toxic you know what i mean like they made their points well and for that i appreciate you a matter of fact i might put it up here somewhere um there's a couple of things though that i want to bring you up with seiya seiya for free to plays definitely has a role and the video by no means was saying that seiya is a bad hero in coliseum but to max him out the damage that he does and even even with this constellation the damage that he, he does, it's it's still a little too low for my liking. Um, but if you're free to play and don't have most of these options that you're seeing on screen, then he does fulfill a role, whether that's green, blue, etc. But just know that the damage that he brings is not going to be a lot. So if you're completely free to play and your team looks something like this, I would say that the main issue that you are going to run into is that your damage is going to be too low. Too low. If you're relying on Boommeister and Seiya to be your main damage dealers, you're not going to get a lot of damage. Even though four of these heroes are boosted, you're probably not going to get a lot of damage. So if I was to choose, I would probably remove Seiya out of this lineup and add somebody like Black Crow. Why Black Crow? Because not only does Black Crow do, do decent damage, but her uh, her ability to lower defenses is going to come into play against the other tanks that you're going to be uh, going up against that are going to be beefier. Uh, so for instance, let's take a look at uh, Black Crow. Um, not only does she increase attack of all allies, which, hello, I, I love that. Here, here it is. Uh, if I can get that off of there we go inflicting vulnerable for five seconds reduces defense by 420 and that will help all of your heroes do damage so a lot of times when you're looking at the constellation it's not just about the best team that will take care of the constellation you also have to think about what other people are going to be using and what you can use to counter what's really popular uh so for instance 
in a week that is boosting heavily magic users like Petit Devil, Lore Weaver, etc., instead of attacking people that are using that with the same thing, try to use the other the other thing like assassins, for instance. So uh, with all of that being said, this is the team that I'm going with this week. Um, this this is just one of those teams that's just true and tried, and whenever you get three boosted on an already really good and established team it's kind of hard to go against um i was actually trying to see if maybe boom meister uh would work out but every time i would use boom meister it would it would uh put my lore weaver on the other side and not be as protected and the reason i keep um grove guardian in uh in witch doll together there's there's two things witch doll increases your defense which a lot of people are going to be using a lot of strength heroes so with witch doll's passive of increasing defense to all allies that's already coming into play and with grove guardian if they are going to try and get my lore weaver with assassins they're gonna have to get through grove guardian and witch doll combo first which not very easy to do so this is the team that i'm gonna be trying for the beginning of the week or so but i uh, i definitely want to work on a boom meister team and for that i think i think i might have to just go with rose knight as a tank and then go from there but i don't know i don't know because because when i use boom meister and grove guardian they're together so that means i'm going to be susceptible to assassins on the left hand side so they don't work the best together, even though they're both boosted. So I'm, I'm trying to figure it out, like how I can go about it. But uh, let, let's, let's do some matches here. Okay. So these, the, the main issue here is gonna be Don Guapo. Like that's, that's the number one issue that I'm going to have. And the only difference here is gonna be the Grove Guardian. Um, I feel like Grove Guardian is definitely a better option, but because they don't have an assassin that I have to worry about right away. Maybe instead of Grove Guardian, I'll go with Boom Meister this go around. And if the Boom Meister, Witch Doll, and Lore Weaver can focus down the Don Guapo, I think that we'll be okay. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. I think Grove Guardian would work well as well. Um, work well as well. You're gonna, you're gonna get what I'm saying. Because they have a lot of magic users, so it could it could work it could work wonders. But the um the Don Guapo is my number one priority here. Uh, if we take out that Don Guapo I feel like we'll be in really good shape. And they get the heal off first. Oh uh, okay, okay. So the, the Don Guapo uh, I need more damage. I need more damage and the Don Guapo gets a full heal. That's not great. That is not great. They gets another heal. Boy, oh boy, this Don Guapo uh, is super tanky. I mean, I, I get that the constellation is helping him, but goodness, man. Um, I get the heal off just in time, but the Don Guapo is just not going down. To be fair, though, mine is not going down either. But man, um, I need this heal right away. Okay. If we can keep their heal on the other side here, I feel like we may be in good shape. Right here. This is this is my time to shine. Take out the Don Guapo right now. This is it. This is it. This is it. Take him out. Yes. Okay. That's it. If we take out the Don Guapo, the whole team just crumbles right after. Um, ooh, the, the Rose Knight is still a little bit tankier. But we, we should be fine. They also lost their healer, I believe. So my Don Guapo came out on top on their end too. So it worked out in the end. It worked out in the end. Would Grove Guardian would have been a better choice? Honestly, probably not. Because, yeah, Boom Meister boosts my crit. And I feel like a crit here and there probably did make a difference. So hard to tell, but Boom Meister was the right call on that one. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Legal Matrix. Okay. So he does have an assassin this go around. And see, if I was going up against that assassin with this team, that assassin would jump over to my Witch Doll and my Lord Weaver together. And it probably wouldn't go well. So in here, I'm going to swap into this Grove Guardian. That way, I can kind of trap that Demon Slayer between the Witch Doll and the Grove Guardian. And looking at that team, if I take out the Demon Slayer, they still have decent damage with Tracker and Boommeister, but 
any team with Demon Slayer, if you can neutralize Demon Slayer, you're already like way ahead. So let's let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. Number one priority is Demon Slayer. And I, I feel like that's a lot of times what Coliseum is all about. It's looking at a team and recognizing what hero you need to be focusing on the most. And if you can neutralize that hero, then you're already uh, ahead of schedule. So there you go. Demon Slayer is taken care of. And even though they got a heal, their team is basically neutered. Yeah, healer is done. And the rest is just going to be just clean up at this point. So their damage doesn't really matter anymore because... They're not in my back line, and I, I'm i not going to take any any damage, really. Because the tanks are already too beefy. So, yeah. Don Guapo this week, or even Berserker, they're going to be really, really powerful and probably seen a lot. So, okay. Demon Slayer, uh, neutralized. Good, good, good. Alright, let's see what else we can run into. VNS... This seems, this is a very free-to-play team, and again, they don't have a um, an assassin, so do I go Boommeister here? Grove Guardian would work well because of the Ice, or the, uh, the Prima Donna, but the Snow Queen also, but I'm kind of more leaning towards uh, Boommeister here. Because Boommeister, nothing's going to come into my backline and Don is going to go into theirs. So once Boommeister procs, it more than likely is going to hit their whole team. And the Witch Doll and Boommeister combo proc, as well as Don Guapo, like everything is going to be hitting their whole team. So if you don't have anything coming into my backline, this team is actually really strong. But that's something that I played in my mind. Let's see if it works out the way that I think it's going to work out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna invade their back line and keep them busy over there. And then oh my god, the Snow Queen is already dead. Holy damage. And see, this is what I'm this is what I'm talking about. Once Snow Queen is down and my Witch Doll and Boommeister get to proc, it's pretty much GG. Like even if he gets a proc right here, which he probably will, he did. Um, it will it will not matter. Uh, uh, Witch Doll proc right here, followed by uh, Boommeister here shortly. This is gonna be a lot of damage right here. Look. Bow! Oh my god. Yeah. If if you don't have a back something to pierce the backline of this specific hero, you're gonna have a bad time against this team. The only thing the only thing though is that for defense, they can probably recognize that and they'll probably will use a Demon Slayer. Or for instance a Don Guapo. You'll probably see Don Guapo a lot this week. Level 59s. Okay, that, I'm just gonna skip that. Uh oh my goodness. I haven't been doing a lot of Colosseum lately, as you can tell. Again, nothing to pierce the backline, although they don't have a healer. So this is kind of like, I don't understand this strategy from them because they don't have a healer, but they're also, they're using two tanks. So when you don't use a healer, you can try to tank the damage because you're never going to win, especially against Lore Weaver and all that. You're not going to win. So the best strategy for him is to get rid of that Child of Light and use something like, oh man, um, Incinerator would be good, uh, but two tanks just doesn't work. I don't know if he's using Child of Light for the boost, but that completely throws away his this, his whole strategy. Two tanks with no healer doesn't usually work, and it will not work against this team either. Uh, Grove Guardian is uh, not that great against that team, because Grove Guardian usually specializes against uh, magic healer, uh, magic users like... Petit Devil, uh, Witch Doll, etc. Because of his silence, it comes into play a lot. Even though he does decent damage regardless. But um, yeah, with, with no with no healer here, they're going to have a hard time here. Because even if they do take out my Don Guapo, they're not going to get past my um, my uh, Rose Knight now. Yeah, They took out Don Guapo, but their team is already neutered. And my my Rose Knight is, is, full, is full steam. So... Uh, I'm gonna need. I'm, I will need to uh, get a proc off. That'd be great. There we go. And then this heal will just pretty much seal it. Yeah. See, if he if they had another damage healer instead of another tank, they might have they might have actually gone through my Rose Knight there. Um, so interesting. I think with an incinerator that could have done a pretty decent job of taking care of my tanks. Uh, it, it, they might have still had a rough time getting through Witch Doll, Boommeister combo, 
But still, 59s, oh goodness. 57s, oh god. There we go. Oh, this dude, I mean, this dude is using Demon Slayer as a, as a tank. I can I, I, I just want to face this just just because I just I just kind of yeah I kind of want to use Seiya for this too <laughs> I like what's going on here let's just use Seiya just just for the hell of it wow I've I haven't seen that in a while Demon Slayer tank he's gonna die like right off the bat look at this. Say I just punched them in the mouth, like, yo. Let's see. Oh, they gotta heal off? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't know what this person was thinking, or if they... If they even thought it through at all. But... Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this week the constellation is definitely very, very centered towards front line. So if you have to take down the front line, there are certain uh, teams that will do that for you. But one one hero that I will highlight that will do a very good job of that is Black Crow. The defense uh, that that she puts, I think it's four hundred and twenty that she lowers the defense. That is a lot. That is a lot. So focus on that, especially if you're free to play. Black Crow should be a mainstay on your team. Um, so if you do, if I'm free to play, I'm probably running something like this this week, something like this. That's that's really cool. And if you and if you're running into issues with like uh, Demon Slayer or something, then maybe you can take out the uh, the Death Knight and put something else that can help your uh, your prima donna a bit. Uh, for that. You know what? Uh, what actually works well sometimes is if you put shade with prima donna. If a demon slayer jumps over, the shade will actually help the prima donna. Matter of fact, let me see if I can show that. Do I have my? Uh, I do have it. Okay, great. Let me see if I can find a demon slayer. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Um, let me see if I can show that. I don't know if it'll do the best against this team though, but let's 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 try it out. Um, Prima Donna, and what was the other one? Boom Meister, right? Boom Meister, yeah. So, the idea here is, is that Demon Slayer will jump over to Prima Donna, but Shade should come back and help. Should. At least that's what I've experienced with him. Um, and even if he doesn't, since this is mirrored, Shade is going to be walking up straight into their Prima Donna. So even if he doesn't come back, you're still attacking their Prima Donna head on. So let's just see. Let's see how this works out. Let's see how this works out. Let's see. And also, Brewmeister will provide uh, some crit, which Shade can definitely use. Here we go. Oh, the Demon Slayer didn't even get to jump. Oh. Well, did not see that coming. Um, did not see that stun coming, but, um, okay. I honestly didn't even see what Shade did. Did Shade take care of the, um, the Prima Donna? I did not, I did not see that. But, like I said, this team for free to play also could work, because you provide decent, uh, decent coverage for your Prima Donna. I need to see exactly what Shade did. Uh, I do have a Shade full hero review that I did, oh my god, like, two years ago at this point. Uh, but it still holds true today. Um, so yeah, let me see what Shade did. I was too com uh, I was too focused on something else. So did Shade take care of their Prima? Let's see. Oh, that. Oh, okay. So so Shade Silence plus a uh, uh, Rose Knight's Shield took took care of them. That's that's actually really cool. So yeah, there's another option for you if you're ever having issues protecting your Prima Donna on a team. Uh, Shade. Especially with Boommeister, giving them more crit. Ha! Works really well. 
Uh, but yeah, like I said, I know that um, Coliseum videos aren't like that popular or whatever, but I, I really enjoy Coliseum, and I know that some of you do as well. So maybe we'll continue to do some more. And if you have any questions regarding Coliseum, things that you may not understand specifically regarding any specific heroes, etc., let me know, and maybe I'll do a, a video specifically about that sort of stuff. Um, what's next week's constellation? Bare handed strength and defense. Once again, another constellation that will uh, that will help Seiya. But there's not a lot of barehanded heroes. I guess Berserker is considered barehanded, right? I mean, I know she has a massive like fist thingy, but hmm, interesting. Next week's constellation is gonna be interesting. Uh, but yeah, anyway, looking forward to what you guys say in the comment section. Appreciate you guys for coming through, and until later, bye.